OpenAI is preparing to release its new AI model, Orion, expected by December. Orion is rumored to be up to 100 times more powerful than GPT-4, making it a significant leap in AI capability. However, OpenAI is taking a different approach with Orion's release. Unlike GPT-4, which was widely available in ChatGPT, Orion will initially be accessible only to select partners, allowing for a more controlled rollout. Only of those partners in Microsoft, which will host Orion on its Azure platform, potentially as early as November. This collaboration is seen as a major step toward achieving AGI or Artificial General Intelligence, where AI can think and learn similarly to humans. OpenAI has recently seen some executive changes, including the departure of CTO Mira Murati and other leaders, sparking speculation about its impact on Ryan. OpenAI has also raised $6.6 billion in funding and is restructuring towards a more for profit model, highlighting just how much is at stake with Orion's release. Some people wonder if Orion is actually GPT-5 under a new name. While OpenAI hasn't officially confirmed this, insiders suggest Orion will be a major step forward after GPT-4. OpenAI CEO Sam Altman added to the excitement with a cryptic post, Winter Constellations Rising, and a nod to Orion which is visible in winter skies. Even ChatGPT picked up on Altman's hint, although it playfully suggested rearranging letters to spell Orion, a creative guess but not quite. So, what makes Orion special? It's built on synthetic data, serious processing power, and OpenAI's AGI ambitions. Rather than just scraping the internet for data, OpenAI used synthetic data partly generated from their earlier 0-1 model codenamed Strawberry to train Orion. The synthetic data approach is intended to make Orion more intelligent, faster, and vastly more powerful than previous models. OpenAI aims for Orion to not only excel in language but to think, reason, and understand at near-human levels, pushing toward true artificial general intelligence or AGI, a digital milestone the company has envisioned for years. However, this bold pursuit of AGI has prompted some high-profile departures at OpenAI, including Miles Brindage, their AGI readiness advisor. Brundage believes that neither OpenAI nor other AI companies are fully prepared for AGI as it will bring transformative impacts on jobs, society, and even the nature of work itself. In a recent blog post, he envisioned AI making early retirement possible and enabling economic growth driven largely by automation. But he also cautioned that without coordinated AI safety efforts among governments, companies, and civil organizations, society could face significant disruption with job markets and economies thrown into disarray before we're prepared to manage them. Adding to OpenAI's challenges, former researchers Sukir Bagchi left the company this week, bringing serious concerns about copyright practices. Bagchi, who helped OpenAI gather for early models, revealed that OpenAI scrapped data from books, websites, and forums often without permission. He didn't initially question the legality but he believes that the approach might be problematic for the internet itself. With platforms like Stack Overflow and Reddit losing traffic as people turn to AI for answers, Bagchi argues that companies like OpenAI need regulation to prevent unchecked data use. This goes beyond fair use involving the copying of copyrighted materials leading to lawsuits from others whose work may have been used without consent. Although OpenAI has signed deals with some publishers, the legal hurdles are ongoing. Bagchi warms that generative AI could disrupt the internet ecosystem, impacting not only individual creators and companies but also the broader web landscape. The implications of the AI race are increasingly political and philosophical as companies like OpenAI forge ahead while others reevaluate their approach. For example, Antrophic, a company founded by ex OpenAI members, initially positioned itself as a slower, safer alternative. However, with substantial funding from Amazon and the need to compete with OpenAI's ChatGPT, its model, Claude, has pushed Antrophic to join the race more assertively. 
CEO Dario Amodi recently shared this vision for super intelligent AI which he believes could arrive as early as 2026. Antrophics, a shift from a cautious approach to competitive involvement underscores the high stakes and complex dynamics shaping today's AI landscape. Just last year, Antrophic was seen as the cautious AI player prioritizing safety but now it's competing aggressively for funding and setting ambitious goals alongside OpenAI. Some question if this shift is about attracting investors or if Antrophic genuinely believes AI could positively reshape the world. There's also some tension between Antrophic CEO Dario Amodi and OpenAI Sam Altman who have different timelines and visions for safe AI. Altman is focused on rapid growth and development while Amodi emphasizes safety and control. Although their approaches vary, both companies are racing to bring us closer to AGI. And where does Orion fit into all of this? It's more than just another model in OpenAI's lineup. Orion represents OpenAI's most ambitious step toward creating human-like AI. Altman has said that he believes superintelligent AI is just a few thousand days away, not some distant dream. With Orion, OpenAI is combining the strengths of previous models like GPT-4 with new data and techniques to develop an AI that could fundamentally transform industries such as healthcare, science, and even democracy. If Orion meets expectations, it could reshape work, daily life, and more. However, OpenAI is carefully controlling its release, initially granting access to trusted partners to allow for safe, innovative applications before it becomes widely available. Despite the hype, OpenAI's rapid growth has some challenges. High turnover, including the departure of CTO Mira Murati and other leaders, shows that working in a fast-paced, high-stakes environment isn't easy. Building something as groundbreaking as Ryan, a possible step toward AGI, requires more than just talent and funding. It demands careful planning, coordination, and a clear risk management strategy. Recently, former AGI readiness advisor Miles Brindage warned that no company is truly prepared for AGI and cautioned about its societal impact. He imagines a future where people may no longer need to work, but warns we're not culturally or politically ready, and without proper planning, we could face stagnation or worse. For AI to benefit humanity, it will require thoughtful decisions and international collaborations. Yet the potential benefits are too significant to ignore. Orion could drive breakthroughs in healthcare, the economy, and possibly even climate solutions. Brundage envisioned a future where early retirement becomes a reality and where life fundamentally changes, but only if it's managed responsibly. As it stands, Orion is open AI's ambitious, high stakes move towards AGI despite all the hurdles. If it delivers even a fraction of what's promised, the world could look very different in a few years. So, are we ready for Orion? If OpenAI's vision comes close to reality, it will be transformative. Keep an eye on this one, it's far from just another AI model.